What's up guys, you know, back with another video and in this video, you know, I'll be talking about LA Kachoki again, right? I mean, nearly just, you know, like a week ago, LA Kachoki is the very first man to break a two-hour marathon, right? So you can just look up on web all time and social media just went nuts on him, like, oh my goodness, man, like, people went nuts and... This is so crazy, man. Like, this is craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, right? But then, he did sub a two-hour marathon, but it's just unofficial. You know why it's unofficial? Because, you know, it's just not a race, right? I mean, if you run in the race, then people will consider it as an official and official world record. Eventually, somebody's going to break two hours, right? I mean, come on, man. Do you know what his phrase said? He said, no humans limited. I mean, nothing is impossible, right? Eventually, there will be a guy, you know, who will run this fast and who will break this record. So, I wonder, like, who's going to beat Eli Kachoki's record, right? Maybe nobody but himself, right? He just beat his own record, right? For sure. Like, October 12th of 2019, the like, he is the first guy to ever break a two-hour marathon, right? So, according to the calculation stuff, like, I heard that, oh, Pete... Like, El Kachoki could get, like, you know, like a 157, you know, marathon time, but... Yeah, because he, like, he looks kind of, like, relaxing, like, the whole entire race. Like, he, 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 he didn't, like, have any pressure at all stuff, but he went at, like, over 13 miles per hour, like, looking so relaxing, right? And then at the end, you know, he, like, sprinted toward the end, and he know that he could have got a bad time, you know? He got, got like, a lot of people, you know helping him and all stuff, right? I mean, with, like, at least, like, 40 elite runner, you know, running, like, next to him, and there's a car, you know, like, putting the laser on the street, like, to, like, track his pace, so he can track his pace really well, so he can hold his pace really well, so he doesn't, go like, go over or go under, right? Yeah, that's a really hard thing to do, right? So, where was the rate exactly? So... Yeah, he, he did sub a two-hour marathon in Vienna, Austri Austria, right? So I'll show you what the course looks like. So it looks like a big L, right? Me take major loops and stuff, and... Yeah, I think I know what I'm talking about, right? Let me show you. You see... I don't know if you can see it, but... Um, yeah, I'm just searching on the internet. You, you see that big L right there? That's where Ellie Kachogi ran, right? I'm not sure if you can see or not, but yeah, I'm holding it upside down because I'm recording straight from my iPad and stuff, but the course is like hardly have like any term, so that's why, you know, um, that's why he runs so fast, right? Because when you minimize and turn, then that means you're, you're going to go a little bit faster, right? I mean, come on, man. If you want to have your best time in race stuff, just find, you know, a course that, like, minimizes turn, right? They, like, Nike and also, um, people did everything they could to support him, and there's people watching him, and, my God, like, this is, like, under 120 minutes, man, for just a marathon, right? 26.22 miles, right? Yeah, so you asked me, like, what is this time, right? Are you going to put in your thumbnail? Yes, I will put my thumbnail later. Okay, like, maybe a few minutes after this view gets uploaded. So, um, Elliot Kachoki's time was 1 hour, 59 minutes, and 40 seconds, right? I mean, for the entire race, he was, like, 10 seconds ahead of, like, you know, the marathon pace, right? The 2-hour marathon pace. I mean, at, at the end, you know, he's bringing in. That's why, you know, like, he had, like, a 20, you know, just, like, a little under, like, 20 seconds, you know, remaining from the two-hour marathon, right? Yeah, it's just, like, the 65th, you know, anniversary of, like, Roger Bannister broke a sub-four-minute mile, but Elika Choki, you know, now he break a two-hour marathon, right? And you wonder what's the pace for subbing a two-hour marathon? Like I told you, it's 434 pace or 250, you know, to be like 250 per kilometer, right? So for every mile you run, you have to run 434. Or, you know, half a mile, like 217 and 400 meters, 68 seconds. And 
and also um, 400 meter is 17 seconds so that that is really fast right that's like you sprinting like an entire marathon just to get that time like oh my gosh like most people can not even run that for like a whole minute and he does it for like at least 120 minutes I mean, eventually the world record will go down to like under two hours, right? Eventually, because somebody just did it, right? Just to prove that no human is limited and stuff. But either Eli Kachoki or another, you know, elite, you know, runner that as good as him, maybe can sub a two hour. Maybe sooner or maybe not this year, right? But yeah, I mean, you just, I mean, it just didn't follow the rule. That's why it's like unofficial, right? I mean, he's been getting a lot of help and stuff, right? He didn't cheat. He didn't take sword or, or anything, but he did legit, right? So you know what's his average pace for like 26.2 miles if he's sub two man. So his his pace should not be like not not so much faster than like um 434 pace. He ran at a 433 pace. 433 minutes per mile and a half, right? So 43 4. Point 4 minutes, 33.5 seconds per mile. Man, I can't even do that for a single mile. I couldn't even sub a 5 minute mile, right? I mean, I probably have gone fast as recorded this video, but I probably get around like maybe 5.10 as, at most. Like, come on, man. Like, that's still like at least 40 more seconds to like the 4.30s, man. Oh my god, this guy's insane. He's like relaxing and I am just like trying all out and I'm just gonna pass out you know if I run that pace I'm like many people cannot even run that for a mile I mean let's let's be honest here right yeah not unless you like thin like him like yeah he's a Kenya runner you know when he was young you know probably like me or even younger than he runs to school every day yeah and the Kenya is, is like a really good, you know, like long distance runner. They're not short distance runner. That's Jamaica, right? Different story. So Kenya, you know, they have to like run every day. They have like very poor condition. Yeah, I mean, if you run every day, then you're going to be as fast as him, to be honest, right? Yeah, run. Yeah, so, wow. So ever since he broke to our marathon, hopefully this inspire you to be a much better runner or much better in anything in general yes just do what you can do man like i hope you can meet your dream one day just like this guy you know i like a right he said that you know, nothing is possible if you just put as much effort as you can then you will achieve like more than you can right here's what like a said he said 100 percent of me is like not even 1%, you know, of the whole team or something like that, right? That's truly saying that, yeah, he really cares and he, re he you know, um, I don't know what to say about this, man, but he really likes his team. He really likes people to help him out and stuff, but yeah, he's a very nice guy, right? I could say, right? Yeah, so that would be crazy if someone run a marathon and beat his time, man. In sub two hour marathon, but yeah, just run you know like twenty one seconds faster than the marathon two hour pace, then you'll beat LA Kachoki's time, right? Man, would that be a disaster if he just hit a two hour mark exactly? Like he just missed like nanosecond. Like people will be so disappointed in him. Like oh my god, but that didn't happen, right? I mean, two years ago. He missed the marathon pace, the marathon, you know, sub to our margin mark by like 25 seconds. But now he's 45 seconds faster than he was before. He still gets faster, even at the age of 30, right? So people think that, oh, when I'm age 30, I'm not going to get faster and stronger. I mean, you still can, right? But you're just not going to gain as much as when you were young, right? Look, man, I'm 21 and I practice running every single day and I'm getting faster, right? Yeah, so when you're my age or his age, then maybe it's not too late. But if you get to like 40s or 50s, then you might hit your peak already. So there's nothing you can do right there. You just can't go back in time, you know, just to 
get young and make it so fast is at, when you're aged, you, you just grow older, right? Just just not much to say about Elliot Gachogi, right? Congratulate to this guy. Hard work pays off, man. You know? Yeah. That's just amazing, man. So hopefully, um, you know, you enjoy this video, you know. Yep, and today, you know, I'll run. I'll, I'm going to do myself a long run, right? I want to see, like, how many miles I can run, you know, in two hours, right? And if you like this video, maybe I should post it, but I'm not going to record myself running, you know, because obviously the camera's going to die and stuff, and who knows what's going to happen, right? I definitely cannot run, you know, 26 miles in two hours. That's not happening, but I'm guessing maybe I could run maybe somewhere between 16 and 17 miles. So I have to run 10 more miles just to be as fast as Eli Kachogi, right? I cannot compare myself to him because he's these ways fast, right? That's just a coincidence. I'm just recording, you know, the day that I'll be running for, you know, exactly two hours. See how many miles I can do. So let's see what it is, man. So I got peace out here and thanks for watching and peace out.